Hey, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm gonna talk about top 5 best point and shoot camera. Starting at number 5. Panasonic Lumix. Compact cameras with sensors larger than 1 inch in size are typically limited to fixed focal length lenses, which is great for quality but less so for flexibility. But not the Panasonic LX102. It manages to marry a 17MP 4 3rd sensor the same size as those found inside Panasonic's G-Series mirrorless cameras with a zoom lens equivalent to 24 to 75mm in 35mm terms, proving that sometimes you can get quality and flexibility at once. We found its Leica badged lens to be very impressive, capturing very good levels of detail that's worthy of pricier APS-C cameras, and its exposure metering system more than reliable. Our tests also show that it handles noise pretty well and produces natural-looking images with faithful colors. The original LX100 was something of a landmark camera for offering something similar, and this latest iteration takes the baton, with a nippy AF system, robust body, clear 4K videos and a useful electronic viewfinder among its highlights. Coming at number 4. Ricoh GRI 9 if you're an avid street photographer there's no doubt you'll have heard of the Ricoh GR, a superb series of compact cameras that are famous for their sharp, fixed focal length lens and large APS-C sensor. The Ricoh GR i9 is the latest model and features a 40mm f2.8 lens versus the standard GR3's wider 28mm f2.8 option, which may make it a more versatile option depending on your proclivities. Personally, we'd prefer the X's 40mm for portraiture while the GR3's 28mm is ideally suited to landscape. From our review, we think the Gree iX is a superb everyday carry camera, with new features like the snap focus system making it an intuitive camera for capturing decisive moments. A host of excellent customization options make it a great choice for experienced tinkerers with in-camera raw editing and easy sharing via the wireless smartphone connection. We would have liked better battery life and a tilt screen, but such omissions are understandable given the compact body. We think this is the best GR iteration yet if you're on the hunt for superb image quality, snappy performance, and intuitive handling in a pocket-friendly body. At number 3. Sony ZV-1. If it's mainly video rather than stills that you're looking for from a compact camera, then the Sony ZV-1 is the one of the best options around. Not that it isn't also very capable at shooting still photos, it has the same sensor and processor as Sony's latest RX100 series cameras, after all, but the ZV-1's main strength are its video powers. That includes its class-leading autofocus powers, which helps it tenaciously lock onto people and moving objects in your frame. During testing, we found it to do an excellent job of keeping moving subjects in focus and tracking our eyes across most of the frame. Of course, the video quality from its 20.1MP 1-inch sensor is nothing short of impressive as well. These are backed up by a 3.5mm mic port for boosting audio quality with an external microphone and a hot shoe to help mount the ladder. Its bright 24-70mm f-1.8-2.8 doesn't give you the same reach as the RX107, but it does ensure that you get lovely background blur in both stills and videos perfect if you mainly shoot portraits or vlogs. Sony has since released the ZV-1 too, but for us the successor was a puzzling update that in real-world use offered little extra than the ZV-1 to justify its pricier tag. Number 2 of my list Sony RX100 Mark in many ways, the RX107 is still best compact around right now. Its autofocus system, we found, is comfortably ahead of any other pocket camera, tracking moving subjects with great reliability and making clever use of its face and IAF, even in video mode. Video quality is superb, while image quality is also stellar. But all of this comes at a huge price, and for many people that could be a deal breaker. Still, we can't avoid including it in this guide, as it's one of the best options around. If your budget allows, then you won't find a more powerful compact than the Mark 7. But if you're happy to sacrifice some of the latest autofocus features and a microphone jack, check out the RX106, which offers most of its performance but costs a little less. 
and number one. Fujifilm X106. The Fujifilm X100V went viral for its retro style, pocket-friendly design, hybrid viewfinder, and fixed 23mm f/2 lens. The X106 takes the same concept and upgrades it again, boosting resolution to 40MP and adding in-body image stabilization for the first time. It also borrows the class-leading autofocus from the Fujifilm X-T5. In our review, we found images pin-sharp across the entire sensor, with the increased pixel count offering greater flexibility when cropping. Together with impressive subject tracking autofocus and effective stabilization, we think it's an even more rounded compact for street shooting. Our tests also revealed the X106 to be a more capable filmmaking tool, courtesy of 6.2K 10-bit video support. The fixed focal length will still be a limiting factor for some, as will the single UHSI SD card slot. You need an adapter for full weatherproofing, too. Given the sold-out demand for the X100V, it's also unsurprising that Fujifilm has increased the price for its successor. But from our time living with the X106, we think it's the pinnacle of the X100 series, and the best premium compact for everyday use. Check out this video description for latest price and more informations. Thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe and stay tuned.